you, well, you've had such an interesting life, and you know so many interesting people. And one of the people that you know, we see photos every once in a while of you with the Dalai Lama, which is, uh, is uh, he, would you consider him to be your friend? Yeah, the friend, teacher, yeah, for sure. Friend, teacher, et cetera, et cetera. Not now, you're gonna do something weird. Well, no, not that weird, because I don't think I could do anything weirder than what the Dalai Lama did here. <laughs> what is the Dalai Lama doing here? Well, the Dalai Lama, if you look really closely, Tibetans have these little noses. Okay. And us Westerners, do you have... Yeah, I have you a big, good-sized nose, yeah. Yeah, and I have a nice big one, too, something you can grab a hold of. And that's what he's doing there. Well, why is he doing that? He's so tickled it's, by your nose? He, he wants just loves it. He <laughs> loves punching. He likes doing all that. He likes all really? this stuff. Yeah. See, well, this could be a problem if... If it was a woman and he decided he liked a different body part, no, couldn't no, it? No, 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 he would never do anything like that. No leader of any any <laughs> would, never would ever do anything like that. that. Right. No. Never. <laughs> and as and in addition to the Dalai Lama, and by the way, he seems like a funny guy to me. Is he funny? Just one on one? Yeah, no, he he um he, you know, your guy was asking me before, and he's it's not that he tells jokes, he's just he sees humor in everything. He sees humor in himself. He's uh It he's seems very so unusual. Lighthearted and and uh, he breaks down that expectation that of course everyone would have. You meet the Dalai Lama, you expect it's like meeting the Pope. You expect to be healed or transcended or right. something. And he breaks that down and, and makes it very clear. And instead he grabs your nose. Yeah. <laughs> Like an uncle or something. I have an enlightened nose now. <laughs> you, speak of, of meeting the Pope, you met the Pope as well. You had a one-on-one -on -one meeting with the Pope. Why this did is a long story, happen? and it's too long for this. But okay. yes, we did, we did meet, and I, I offered uh, the father, the, the papa, um, a kata, which is a, a white ceremonial scarf. And it was one that the Dalai Lama had given me, and I was offering it to the Pope from His Holiness the Dalai Lama. I see. And you were re-gifting. I was ridiculous. Yeah. It wasn't one of the better ones. <laughs> and, and he, uh, no, but he was very sweet with it. He, 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 he took it like it was a holy relic, and in a way it is. It's from, you know, a great leader to, to another one, and uh, a great man. And he, he folded it up very carefully and gave it to his attendant to put in a special place. Are those guys in touch? Like, do they have each other's... They hang, do they text they each other or anything like that? Because it seems like they should be in touch. They should, and they can't because of the Chinese. Is, oh, right. Well, oh, wow. The Chinese keep them from palling around, playing golf, whatever they would have done. Well, the Chinese, the Chinese are giving the Chinese Catholics a hard time in China. Right. And the, the, uh, the Vatican is negotiating with them to keep connection with the Catholics in China. The Dalai Lama is, is being persecuted by the Chinese because he has so many followers inside of Tibet, which was invaded by China in 1950. So I got that all out really quick. Yeah, and somehow you got in the middle of all this. It's really kind of amazing. <laughs> you know, which brings us to Norman. Yeah, right. Which to Norman. We are going to talk we about Norman. We have another this, segment. Have I want to get that. into that. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you like that, click the subscribe button below and good things will happen forever.